hello friends in this video we will discuss how to edit the elements in hypermesh so for that you need to go into the 2d panel that is available on the main menu pages and go to the option that is edit elements now suppose we want to split the elements or combine the elements so these are the different options available now let's split this element its size is comparatively larger to the other elements which may affect the mesh quality so see i have selected the elements which is to be split appears in the white color and now select the splitting line through the points so simply left mouse key you have to press and thus the elements get splitted if you go to the return command that means it is saved now see here that is the surface was selected so when i click on the elements entire the surface was selected now again i have selected their elements and now select the specific elements simply by left clicking and if you press the scroll key here we can edit the number of elements so our ultimate aim is to optimize it to optimize the element quality Now again we will try to combine these elements so that uh, there will be a proper flow. So this is as like trial and error initially. Once once you are perfect in the software, you can have a one time good quality of mesh so till then this is the procedure to improve on your meshing skill sets so click on the return button so that that is the in the save format Now here we will see how to create the elements. So first of all I have deleted it. Now go to the option edit element then create node list. So here we need to select the nodes and here it is a quadrilateral shape so I have selected quad and thus the four nodes are selected. If we click on try and the nodes are selected then the trial element is created so in this way trial or chord elements can be created now i combine those two trials simply a chord is formed and thus the mesh quality can be increased or we can say we can create the elements at the specified location Now let's check what is this cleanup. So go to the cleanup, displayed elements, and cleanup. So what is happening in this cleanup command? You will be able to see the elements which are violating our criteria. So even if you click on simply smooth button. So the quality of the mesh gets on increasing. Now it is uh, highlighting only the elements which are in the 
what we can say worse region or depending upon your element criteria that you have set so those will be highlighted and you can again uh, specifically work on the element so that we can improve the mesh quality so see go to the quality index and now you will see that there is a total failed that is 4.1 percent of the elements are failing right now so one good uh, point i have to note you down that that is the element optimize option so in this element optimize option you have to simply click on the different elements and the software itself tries to optimize it so this will help uh, reduce the percentage of failed elements see it is going on it is now 3.8 3.3 so simply if I, we go on clicking the elements and uh, your if element optimize button is on so it will try to optimize the element so instead of doing it manually combining it selecting the different elements and then trying to change the number of nodes so that all can be done but this is the prior step so that you can be using the available software information software uh, intelligence to come com to we can say to make your mesh quality good so now that is the percentage fail comes down to that is 1.4 percent So I am trying to check that whether uh, uh, I have used that element optimize command properly so that its complete use is done then we can shift for the other uh, uh, options as well to improve the element quality. So this is again also a good option that select the elements which are nearby to the failed elements and uh, click on the scroll key so that what will happen it will try to improve the quality of the mesh the element size will try to optimize so now the percentage fail comes down to 1.1 only node optimize is again one of the option we can try it for so if it is not increasing we can go to the place node option as well so that we will try to check whether the quality of the mesh gets increased by using this option that is a place node. Okay, so finally we are able to improve its quality. And again, this is the last option. Suppose if it is not uh, going improving by using that optimize elements option, so you can uh, remesh it. So remeshing is always a good technique. and click on the return button let's check quality index now see the percentage fail comes down to 0 0.8